Hi everyone, it's Louisa from Jiggy Wrigglers. How are you all today? Are you ready for this week's bedtime story? Today I've brought with me a couple of friends as well. I've brought with me Wiggy Woo and I've also brought Clementine and they both wanted to join in tonight's story as well. So I hope that's okay. They're sat snuggled together, ready and waiting. So I think we better find out what story we're reading today. Well, it's all about a princess and a dragon. It's called The Princess and the Dragon. Should we find out what they get up to? So sit comfy then, get snuggled. Here we go. There once lived a young princess called Charlotte. Princess Charlotte preferred being called Charlie. She looked like a princess, but she certainly didn't behave like a princess. Charlie didn't like dresses or dancing and she didn't ever want to marry a prince. So there we go. There's Princess Charlotte or Charlie as she likes to be known in her carriage with her dad, the king. Charlie's father, the king, was hoping to find a new queen, so there were often royal parties at the palace. Do try to behave like a proper princess, Charlotte, the king would say before each party. But Char uh, Charlie didn't like wearing ribbons and smart shoes and looking pretty all the time. Uh-oh, can you see what Charlotte's doing or Charlie's doing? She's hiding under the table with all the lovely food on and she's playing with lots of bugs. I can see there are lots of bugs. Can you see them if I hold it a bit closer? I can see caterpillars and ladybirds. She's quite cheeky, isn't she? Other royal young ladies like to wander through the palace gardens and sit quietly under trees. Charlie preferred climbing up the trees and hanging about in them. Every day the king said the same thing. Oh, please try to behave like a proper princess, Charlotte. But Charlie was happy just the way she was. So can you see all the other royal, all, all the other royal children? They're sort of merrily skipping about, and sitting nicely under the trees. But Charlie, well, she likes to climb up the trees, doesn't she? And do, do some more exciting things. To the king's dismay, Charlie's best friend was a dragon called Dylan. They played rough and tumble muddy games, so everyone stayed away from them. But Charlie and Dylan always had so much fun together and they understood each other perfectly. Can you see? Charlie's playing with her friend Dylan and they're getting very muddy. One day, Charlie and Dylan were playing in the woods. They were hanging upside down in their favourite tree when they heard someone nearby. It was a witch and she was chanting to herself. Turn the palace into sand so I may finally rule this land. Send me water so the king may fall with this curse. I will have it all. He he he, said the witch. <gasps> Can you see? There's the witch saying her chant. And there's Charlie and Dylan hiding up in the tree listening. <gasps> I wonder what they're going to do. Charlie and didn't, did, Dylan didn't dare move as an explosion of light shot towards the palace. The witch cackled uh, happily to herself. Once the moon begins to shine, the kingdom will be mine, 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 hee hee hee, said the witch. <gasps> Uh-oh, she's cast a spell on the palace. As soon as the witch left, Charlie and Dylan flew home as fast as they could. We must warn everyone, said Charlie as they flew. We haven't got long before the sun sets. Can you see them flying as fast as they can back to the palace to warn them about the witch? But the king was furious that Charlie was late home. He sent her straight up to her room, locked the door without letting Charlie talk at all. Quickly, Charlie whistled to Dylan. Uh, quickly, Charlie whistled to Dylan, and they came to get and together they came up with a plan to save everyone. So, so uh, Charlie calls Dylan. Dylan comes to her bedroom window, and they have a little chat, and they come up with this plan to save everyone. Charlie and Dylan flew from her bedroom window, swooped across the palace courtyard. They scooped up some mud from the lake and threw it at everyone. That got everyone's attention, said Charlie, as they watched people running for the gate. Charlotte, yelled the king. Why can't you behave like a proper princess? Oh, can you see what they're doing? They're flying around the palace and they're throwing mud at everyone. King's not very happy, was he? A witch has put a spell on the palace, shouted Charlie. The lake water is rising. Everyone needs to get to higher ground, quickly. 
Dylan, said Charlie, take the children up the hill and I'll help everyone here. So, the lake water's rising, it's getting higher and higher. So Dylan's going to take all of the children on his back and he's going to fly them right up to the top of the hill where the water can't reach them and they'll be safe. While Dylan flew away with the smallest children, Charlie helped her father climb up the flagpole. The guards threw ropes up into the trees so everyone could climb a work higher than the water. It didn't look as if there was anything Charlie could do to save the palace though. Can you see the king? Hanging on to the flagpole for dear life. It's clinging on. As the smell spell worked its magic, the entire palace turned into sand and the lake water rushed in. Suddenly there was an ear piercing screech and Dylan swooped down, roaring huge jets of fire. Boom. The witch shrieked as swirls of sand were whisked up in the hot wind. In an instant, the whole building suddenly became a beautiful, glittering glass palace and the witch vanished. Can you see Dylan with the fire and the witch being swirled away in all the sand? Poof, then she vanishes. You saved us all, said the king as he came down from the flagpole. For once, Charlie, I am so happy you didn't behave like a proper princess. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? So the king's really happy with Charlie and Dylan this time because they saved the day, didn't they? Well done, Charlie. Well done, Dylan. Well, that was a nice story. So I hope now you're all settled and ready for bed and it's time for me to go now. So snuggle down, everyone. Have a really nice night's sleep. And I'm gonna see some of you tomorrow at my live session down in the jungle. And um, Fiona and I will be back next week with lots of exciting things for you. So have a look on Facebook because there are a few changes next week as well to our plans. So night night everyone. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you all next week or maybe tomorrow if you're joining me with the live session. So night night everyone. Bye. Bye.